Last time on Galactic Football. In Deep Stadium, Snow Kids versus the Xenon. <laughs> and in Dome Stadium, Team Paradisia versus the Lightning. The Snow Kids and Team Paradisia advance. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> I see. Stay with them, you two. She could lead us to something. But that's Deep Stadium. They're taking the used flux from the players. Intruders, don't move. You are surrounded. Michael likes the genius. Last one back is a Cyclops. Let's go! I've seen some very strange things here lately, near the deep stadium. What kind of strange things? Mini subs coming and going, robot guards keeping us away. Nothing makes sense. I guess we'll have to take a closer look then. Multiflex is ready for transport. Perfect. Load the chest on the ship. As for you, inject all the extra Multiflux, and I mean all of it, into the core of Paradisia immediately. All of it? I should mention that we have no research on the possible chain reaction such an injection could create. Do what I order you to do. <laughs> ah! As you come in. Surprise! Happy birthday, Yuki! You guys shouldn't have. <laughs> hmm, anything good to eat? No. Mice? Ugh. Huh? <laughs> oh, Yuki! How's it going? These little things are incredible! Happy birthday, by the way! So, is she your girlfriend? She looks nice. <laughs> oh, Zoline? We go way back. I never told you about mm -hmm. her. She's a cool girl. Hmm. And, um, I... Yuki? <sighs> Sometimes I'd be better off keeping my big mouth shut. <sighs> Sinead wasn't invited? No, and he wouldn't have come anyway. He's shooting a new show right now. Really? What kind of show? Welcome to the Sharky Show, the new show you can't miss. Today on the Sharky Show, Akamuk Tan is going to talk to us about an intergalactic mega hit, Cyclops Dance. Wuwambu will get his take on the rumor of his retirement. But right now, let's give a big hand for the captain and the coach of the shadows, the incredible field demon, Zinad! <laughs> Ed, tonight you're playing for a spot in the final, not the time for a repeat of the last GFC. Hmm? Our last semi-final match against the Xenons is in the past. I'm totally cool. No pressure, no stress. I came here to enjoy the sunshine and to win. Hey, let's talk about your childhood. Sinet, you grew up on a Killian, hmm? but you weren't born there, right? Hmm. Actually, my parents are from a Killian, but I was born on Escaron. <gasps> It was oh. during the Flux War. I was... Oh, boy, the Flux War. That was terrible. You never knew them, did you? Such a sad story. <laughs> Would you look at that? <laughs> You know I just love surprises. Well, I have one huh? for you. A very, very big surprise. Huh? And it's right behind that curtain. The moment of truth. Your parents. What?
Remain at your posts. We need to recalculate the tolerance threshold. The core doesn't seem to be... Continue with the procedure. There is absolutely nothing to fear. My parents are dead! That. It seemed like a quake to me. Uh, uh, Rocket! Rocket! What's the matter? I don't know. I just felt totally empty. Zero strength, no energy. Oh. As if my battery suddenly went dead. But I feel better now. Nothing broken? Everything okay? No. Vega, what in the world have you done? We only did what we had planned to do. Create a quake? It was a normal reaction caused by the multiflux injection. Don't worry, everything is under control. Are you sure the core can withstand the multiflux? I can assure you that it is absolutely safe. My employer wants to make sure that no harm comes to this planet. You can rest assured. Hmm. The tremors continued until late last night, and Paradisio woke up today in a slight state of shock. Come on. Answer! You've reached Adim's holophone. Please leave him. Oh, for goodness sake, Adim. And now Lord Phoenix will make a statement about these bizarre tremors. There is absolutely nothing to fear. These tremors were caused by minor cosmic disturbances. Everyone knows that. There is absolutely no danger. What do you think could happen in a place like Paradisia? <laughs> hmm? Arch, we're waiting for you in the practice room. Artegor has moved up to practice time. What? A very, very big surprise. Sinet, your parent. Hello, Sinet. My parents are dead. Who are you really? What do you want from me? Money? No. Mm -hmm. Look inside and you'll understand. We had a son named Sined and he disappeared when Escaron was destroyed. We... we were separated from him. We thought we'd lost you forever. Sined, is it really you? You had a small birth medallion with your name and a small sun engraved on the back. Right? You still have it? understood the lesson for a striker. Okay, huh? practice is over. Free time. Go get some rest. Huh? I need to speak to Artegor privately, please. Now hey. I know why you're so interested in the Snow Kids. You always had an ulterior motive, didn't you, Artegor? 
What are you talking about, Arch? You think I want your job? Come on, cut the ah. paranoia. You asked me to join your team. I'm not talking about the team, but Adim. Did I also ask you to see her behind my back? Huh? What? Adim? What kind of crazy idea is that? Knock it off, Arch, or else... <laughs> yes, I saw Adim. But it was to talk about you. She's worried. And guess what? I am too. <coughs> oh, yeah? You were worried about me? How sweet. Yeah, because you're my friend. You, you want to keep going? Or have you had enough? Get out of here, Artegor. Leave me alone. Now! Whatever, Arch. You disappoint me. And if you don't believe me, go ask Adim. Today on Up Close and Personal, they'll go on a face-off on a field in a few minutes. May and Yuki, friends or enemies. Paradisia, I love this place. What a change from the snow and ice. I've always liked sun. Lots of sun. Paradisia is just the perfect place for me. If May was an animal, um, she'd be a cat. Rawr! Because of her claws. Um, Yuki, an animal. A bird, because she seems to be flying in a cage. How to describe May? Hmm, tenacious? Yuki, generous. A message for May? Whew. How about good luck scoring a goal against me? Tournament, we're all very impatient to see the first semi final match between the Shadows and the Electras. But the anticipation around this match is higher than usual because two ex Snow Kids will be facing off against each other. Yuki is amazing! She 
Murgle for the shadows anyway. show like this i can't wait to see the next semi-final match we're in the final we're in the final oh my son i'm so proud of you Don't worry, Yuki. It's just a loss. A goalie as good as you will win plenty of other matches. Yuki, I'm really sorry, you know? Thanks, May. That's nice of you. Someone has to win. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Come on, Yuki. It'll be okay. I'm sure you'll be back at it soon enough. All I know is, it's not a very good feeling to beat a friend. <laughs> yeah. It's not fun getting beaten by a friend, either. <laughs> <laughs> really, it's the first time that I've ever been that tired. And like Kerner said, it's like you lose every drop of energy in your body. That's all well and good, but both of you seem to be somewhat worn out. Hmm. The resonance. Kernor must feel the effects. She played Netherball, too. I dare you to say that again! <laughs> Sonny, can I have a word with you? Still no news from Artie and Bennett. Not the slightest signal. And we did a radar sweep everywhere. It's gotta be Phoenix again. He's got it coming. We're gonna settle some debts with him. Actually, Corso, this might come as a shock to you, but you need to know that Phoenix... What about Phoenix? Uh, uh, well, he's Magnus. Lord Phoenix is Magnus Blade. Magnus Blade? Why, of course. The pirate code on the beacon. I knew it. I could feel it, but... Uh, when did you know, Sonny? Ever since I saw him face to face. Even though he's changed his appearance, he's still the same. However, it was like he wanted us to interfere in his business. But why? Magnus Blade, you shouldn't have put yourself at risk if you have the slightest suspicion. Why didn't you say anything to me? We'll talk about it later, Corso. Right now, we have to take action. Whatever you say, Sonny. You're the boss. There is no doubt about it, Lord Phoenix. According to my calculations, there are extremely high chances the planet implodes within a few days' time. Injecting the multiflux was far more dangerous than presumed. Vega assured me there was no risk whatsoever. We need to stop everything. It's critical. We cannot run the risk any longer. You must be mistaken. Check your calculations again. Paradisia can't disappear like that. It's impossible. Here we are. Scene of the mystery. Hmm. One, two. One, two. We can breathe underwater with these things? Nice. You have your respirator on backwards. One, two. One, two. Wow, I can hear you great. Okay, I'm getting your signal. We'll stay in radio contact. You can go. Gee, 
Harvey. What are you doing here? <laughs> I programmed him for ninja infiltration mode. He should be useful. Who's that? Ah. Time on Galactic Football. A very strange event has occurred on Paradisia. We must leave for Paradisia immediately. Corso? Are you mad? I've always followed you, Sonny, without question. I chose you over Magnus, but why should I trust you now? <laughs> <gasps> Today, it's the match we've all been waiting for. The Snow Kids versus Team Paradisia. 